You have the ability to settle a chit from point of sale in Jonas Club Management to a banquet event in Jonas Activity Management. This can be used to charge items based on consumption and for events with a cash bar as some examples. Let's take a look at this process. Some of the beginning steps will be a one-time setup, depending on your Jonas setup, and must be in place in order to settle the chit from POS over to Jam. First, we'll start in Jonas Club Management to make sure the applicable sales categories are linked to Jam. To check this, navigate to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Sales Categories. Select a Sales Category, then navigate over to the Other Modules tab. In the Activity Management Category dropdown, make sure the field is set to one of the following options. Event Food Service Category, Event Beverage Service Category, or Event Other Service category, and click OK to save. It is recommended to check all applicable sales categories to ensure they are set accordingly. From here, you will want to run an integration sync from the System Administration module within JAM. Next, you will need to add a button on your POS menu for JAM Event Settlement. To do so, navigate over to Point of Sale, System Setup, and quick setup menu design. Then go ahead and select your settlement menu. Note that it is recommended to have a separate jam main and settlement menu to include specific items that can be transferred to jam. From here, double check you have the button, and if not, you're going to add the settle to event button, which it uses the function JES jam event settlement. Then we can click OK to save and OK to save. Now let's take a look over at Jonas Activity Management. The first thing we want to confirm is that the applicable service type is set to allow transfer from POS. This can be confirmed by navigating over to Event Management and Event Service Types. Go ahead and select your service type and in the General tab, we want to set allow transfers from POS. Your options include no, which will not allow for transfer, yes, which will allow for transfer, and host bar only, which will transfer the item but not the price. So this can be used for events, for example, that have an open bar where you just want to track quantity, not cost. In the sales item categories tab, select all sales item categories that are applicable to the service type. Then click Save. It is recommended to check all applicable service type areas to ensure they are set accordingly. From here, you can go ahead and create a banquet event. When creating the event, make sure the event type is set to a banquet event. Also make sure the status is set to confirmed. Otherwise, the transfer process will not work. The event will be assigned an event number which you can use at POS, or you can search by the name of the event. Let's circle back over to Jonas Club Management and create a chip by navigating over to Point of Sale, Chip Processing, and Start a New Chip. From here, we want to select the member responsible for the event. And indicate the number of covers, if applicable. In the POS window, you can continue to add items to this chit over the course of the event. You can settle the chit after all items have been added. Note that you do not want to add extra charges such as gratuity or service charges as this will produce an error upon transfer. The chit should only consist of items that can be transferred to Jam. Once you're ready to settle the chit, switch to your settlement menu and select the Settle to Event button. This will allow you to enter the event booking number or search by the name of the event by clicking the Find button. After selecting the event, you will be prompted to select the facility that this chip will be settled to. Once you enter the facility, you'll be prompted to select the facility service type. You will then be provided with a prompt indicating the event number and the transfer amount, 
as well as a message indicating that the chit will be printed and all chit items will be voided. We'll go ahead and click OK. Once the transfer is complete, you will be able to go back to the event within Event Management in Jonas Activity Management. And if we go ahead and double click on the event, within the Summary tab, we will be able to see the items and amounts that were transferred from point of sale as a service within the event in the top part of the screen and the bottom part of the screen. When running the end of day preview or end of day update, you will be able to see the chits that have been voided and transferred to events in Jonas Activity Management.